And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is 26th day of August, being Saturday, and with 20, not that time of the church calendar year one. And since Saturday, we celebrate our Blessed Virgin Mary. Our reading will be coming from the book of Ruth, chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, verse 8 to 11. Chapter 4, verse 13 to 17. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 128, verse 4. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel, chapter 23, verse 1 to 12. The theme of our message today is practice what you preach. Today, Jesus is addressing the issue of people saying one thing in their lips while their heart is somewhere else. And that's what they call hypocrisy. People of dual affiliation. People who you cannot trust. Somebody you cannot rely upon. And that's why Jesus began to address them today. He began to address them for what they don't, for preaching what they don't practice. And they were telling the people, the Pharisees and the scribes are in the seat of Moses. Listen to what they preach. But don't do what they do because they don't do what they, practice, they preach. All they do is that they, they do for sure. They dress abnormally to attract abnormal attentions. They want to big seats in the synagogue. They want front seat in every occasion. They want men to be calling them rabbi. See, they were full of themselves. Are full of themselves. And if you read First John chapter two, verse three, it says, "Anyone who says I know God but does not keep the commandments of God, there is no truth in you. There is no truth in you. It's the only person who practices the commandments of God that the love of God comes to perfection in him." Not the person who does the otherwise. And that's why Jesus was addressing the people that you should not imitate them. They want to be called rabbi on the street. And just tell them, don't call any person rabbi. You have only one teacher. Don't call any person father. You are brothers, brethren. Don't call any person any name. Rabbi, I have only one teacher. And don't call any person father on the earth. You have only one father in heaven. And call, don't call any person master. You have only one master, the Christ. You are brothers, sisters. So don't tell any person, don't any person not allocate anything to himself. People should live out what they are, not claiming what they are not. And he told them, anyone who wants to be great among you must be your servant. Anyone who wants to be greatest among you must be your servant. And anyone who exalts himself will be humbled. And anyone who humbled himself will be exalted. So there are no two ways about it. If you want to be exalted, you will be humbled. But if you humble yourself, you will be exalted. It's already a rule of by God. So you who don't practice what you preach, I want to be exalted, to be humbled. So what makes you, what even makes you a preaching acceptable is that you practice what you preach. I jump, uh, this is we put it. Evangelization, the core of evangelization is witnessing. You are living out what you are preaching. People listen to you because what you preach you do. 
So when you preach what you don't do, people will not to treat you with contempt. They won't take your word for anything. So practice what you preach. It's what he's telling all of, all of us today. People preach democracy, but they practice tyranny. People preach freedom, but they preach bondage. Preach freedom, but they practice bond, bonded people. People would preach peace, but they practice crisis, terrorism. That's the type of life many of us are living today. See, the way some will preach about democracy, but that the core of colonialism, of enslaving people. They talk about freedom, but that people give them countries in bondage. They don't practice what they preach. They talk about fundamental human rights. That are protectors and providers of fundamental human rights. That people who deny people their fundamental rights. And marginalize them. And what God is telling all of us today that we should practice what we, do, we preach. And if you know that is the only way people will accept you and that's the only way you will be authentic, then why not do that? And we made you begin to preach. If you preach truly the kingdom of God, you'll be humble because every day you discover you are, you, you, you are far from it. But if you preach yourself, you are full of yourself, claiming what you are not. And that's why today they showed us the opposite of people, person who practice what he preaches. They gave us a great bowl of fruit. Ruth said he loves his mother-in-law. And that's why he left everything to follow her, left her hometown, left her language, her God, and her people to follow their mother-in-law to a strange country, Israel, from Mob. Showed her love with what he was preaching, with what he was showing to her. And because he was preaching love, and they show us equally again how Boaz who preach love, that this lady have left everything that I heard about the good things she did to mother-in-law. After preaching and telling the guy you are good, Boaz showed her that what he, she is saying about her is true by marrying her. And he gave her a son. Raise up a son For the family, in the place of his husband. And the women of Jerusalem rejoiced with Noami and say, you See, now you have got a restorer, have we got a person who will look after you. The shame of, of not having an old nest of king has been cleared from you. You have got a son now from your beloved daughter in law. And they named the, 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 the son Obed, who became the father of Jesse. And Jesse was the father of David. You see how it goes. Good things, bringing good things. From goodness to goodness. Not people who practice, preach goodness and do evil. So can see the roots doing good, living out good, talking good, living out good. Can see Boaz talking good, living out good. Can see Noami talking good, living out good. That's what we swear from every one of us. Practice what you preach. And now what the psalmist who understood this so well today this year. Indeed, us shall be blessed, the man who fears the Lord. Yes, anyone who practices what he preaches is a person who fears the Lord. You cannot be preaching God and still not doing what he said. So you'll be blessed. You fear the Lord and by practicing what you preach. That one will celebrate our blessed Virgin Mary on, on Saturday. She had the word of God, surrender to the word of God, and live out the word of God. And that's why I say, all generation will come and bless. For he who is mighty has done great thing for me. Holy is his name. He lived out his, the whole 
message she received, she received from the angel. May God help us to practice what we preach and stop, pre, uh, stop being a hypocrite by not doing what we preach. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us as we practice what we preach, especially our pastors and leaders of our group people, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Oh, no, no.